Malcolm Lee Mack. Right, let's start with a joke. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Because his house has been bombed by the Russians. Leave him alone, he's only a chicken. <laughs> Don't hurt him, he's only a chicken. Leave him alone. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to walk down the street with everything you own in a plastic bag whilst your house is being... No, you don't. Leave that. Is this on? Have we started? Is it... <laughs> Leave him alone. He's... You don't like the political stuff, do you? Leave him alone. He can't help it. He's only a chicken. Sorry, not chicken, Chechen. <laughs> Can I start again? I messed up, can I start again? <laughs> so, um, it's nice to be here. Um, it's very difficult to work out how to start, right? They've only given us four minutes. I was thinking, what can I do to grab your attention? So I thought, what I'll do is I'll do what the gymnasts do. Because be the way they grab your attention, before they do anything, the gymnasts, they always do this, don't they? They go, and then they do this. Oh, they just before they run. <laughs> Apparently they've got to do that as a discipline. And I thought, how can that be a discipline? No one ever messes it up. <laughs> Never seen anyone going, is the favourite from Bulgaria. If she gets a perfect 10, she's going to win gold. Let's see if she can do it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell no. Three years concentrating on my triple axle. I forgot about the tippy toes. <laughs> Hello, where have you gone? I love gymnastics. <laughs> well, I attracted it like a fanny magnet. <laughs> I, um, I love gymnastics, me, because uh, it's the one event in the world that when it's on every four years, the whole of the world just watches it and doesn't understand anything that's happening, do they? <laughs> every four years, everyone just goes, Was that any good? <laughs> and then it dawned on me, there's only two things you need to know about any gymnastics event. Good. Bad. <laughs> Forget all that tumbling about. I like the people that mess it up and then try and incorporate it. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh, at the end, yeah, I'm always doing that, it's part of it. Hmm? Yeah, no, I'm always doing that, yeah. What, 2.4? Fuck off, you Polish twat. I meant to do that. <laughs> I then thought the other way is to start like the New Zealand rugby team, right? Because New Zealand, they always do this, don't they? <laughs> Apparently that's supposed to scare the opposition, right? But I went to college with loads of rugby blokes and they wouldn't have found that scary at my college. <laughs> the only thing they found scary at my college, the rugby lot, was gay people. <laughs> They're very homophobic, the rugby community, aren't they? I think it'd be far better suited for New Zealand to come out and go, one, two, three, four, <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, hands, hands and walk, two, three, two, three, four, nice shoes, two, three, I, I am what I am, I catch Tony. All the English players going, fuck this, we're going home, come on. <laughs> Drag your knuckles. Can I borrow your baseball cap, mate? Thank all right, careful. <laughs> you can heckle by odd job. <laughs> See, I can't wear baseball. I, I've noticed that you look quite good in that, but I haven't got the right shaped face for baseball caps. I don't know what it is, but when I wear one, I just look like I've got a terminal illness. Don't I? <laughs> Hello, my name's Lee Mack. Every day is a bonus. So, <clears throat> it's great to be here in Australia. I've always wanted to have a big cock. Hang on, that's not the right punchline either. Um, it's great being here in Australia. I've always, my dick is big, no. I've always, it's great to be here in Australia. My dick is, I've always, I've always wanted to be big down under. That's it. They're all in here, it's just finding them. So, you've been a lovely audience. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to go now because um, I, I don't want to go back to England because they keep blaming me for everything. 
I, they, they do. They blame me for everything. They tried to blame me when the Queen Mum died. <laughs> they did. They tried to blame me, honestly. I'll never forget coming home on that fateful day and hitting the button on the remote control and the man on the news saying, if you've just turned your televisions on, the Queen Mum is dead. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show. My name is Lee Mack. Good night. Thank you.